You know what? We were going to surprise you by doing the wave, but everyone's standing, so <laughs> we can't do it. But we can all raise our hands and enjoy and excitement for being here. So yeah. Woo! <laughs> nice. <laughs> Well, welcome to the second annual Kids State Dinner. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Tanya Women Steele. I'm the editor in chief of Epicurious. Mrs. Obama, what an honor and privilege it is to be here. I mean, just stupendous. And thank you so much for having us back again. I, I guess we didn't make too much of a ruckus last year, thank God. We didn't turn the, the curtains or anything. <laughs> Um, several years ago, I had a dream to aid and amplify Mrs. Obama's Let's Move campaign, which aims to inspire, empower, and educate America's children to become the healthiest people they can be. You 54 winners have helped make our dream a reality. Your recipes were judged against more than 1,300 entries, and it was your creativity and intelligence that got you here today. And look at where you are. It's the ultimate field trip. I mean, it really is. <laughs> at the tender age of 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, you've arrived amidst the lingering presence of the many men and women of action and ideas who have walked these rooms, including Lincoln, Jefferson, FDR, and Obama, of Martin Luther King Jr., FDR, oh, Martin Luther King Jr., Neil Armstrong, Albert Einstein, Amelia Earhart, and even Kermit the Frog, yeah. although I think he hopped in. So. <laughs> and now you've even met First Lady and First Mom, the extraordinary Michelle Obama. You young ambassadors of a healthy lifestyle are gifted, and your gift to others is to pay it forward by providing kids around the country and around the world with inspiration, by giving them your delicious, wholesome dishes to create at home, and by acting as leaders within your community. You're all global citizens here, and I'm not just talking to those too young to drive, I'm talking to everybody in this room. You've all arrived on the world stage. But just as I didn't dream up this contest all by myself, you kids didn't get here looking as gorgeous and sharp as you do without the encouragement and help of your parents and teachers, sisters and brothers, grandparents and friends, cats, dogs, and hamsters. Let's not forget the hamsters, they're very cool. Thus to all you junior chefs, some of whom have founded charities, run marathons, gotten a 99 on a test, done your chores without being asked, I had it, amazing, um, or performed random acts of kindness. Know that you are leaders in this world already, and to you I raise an imaginary glass of refreshing, healthy water. And speaking as a mom of six foot three, 15 year old, I know how hard it is to guide, teach, and always promote the healthy choice. So a second toast to, of refreshing water to the parents and family members here. Cheers. Your recipes weren't just filled with Greek yogurt, salmon, and kale, but with tales of struggle and triumph. They were, in short, recipes for success because you all know that eating healthy makes you not just strong of body, but strong of mind. You all know that your dedication to a healthy life puts you on the path to do great things, to be an astronaut or a scientist, athlete or doctor, maybe even president. I think I can speak for Mrs. Obama when I say that you all inspire us. Your commitment strengthens our commitment and ripples out like circles of water, ever widening. And just like the fireworks we all oohed and aahed at five days ago, you will continue to hit ever greater heights, sparkling amidst the all. Or as one of my favorite writers, Dr. Seuss, put it, be your name Bucksbaum or Bixby or Bray, or Mordecai, Alley, Van Allen, O'Shea, you're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Now I'd like to introduce you to another leader, last year's winner from Arizona. She's accomplished more in a decade than I have in more than four, <laughs> thanks in large part to my, her mom, Charmaine, right there. 12-year-old uh, Hallie Thomas is already a leading spokesperson for the cause of healthy eating. She began cooking at the age of five, created recipes at the age of eight, 
has spoken at not one but two TEDx conferences. I've never been invited to one. I mean. <laughs> She's on the Alliance for a Healthier Generation Youth Advisory Board, a spokesperson for Hyatt, sat in Mrs. Obama's box during the most recent State of the Union, and just founded her own nonprofit called Happy. It's my great pleasure to introduce Haley Thomas. Thank you. <laughs> the special box is specially made for you. Hello, everyone. This is so exciting. Um, I'm proud to be here representing last year's winners and kids everywhere who motivate and inspire their peers and families to cook and eat healthily. I'd like to thank Tanya Steele for creating this incredible opportunity for kids to showcase their culinary skills and be rewarded in such an amazing way and to the First Lady for making this event possible. You both are really awesome. <laughs> um, I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about myself. Um, as Tanya mentioned, I'm a Youth Advisory Board member with the Alliance for a Healthier Generation, a junior chef consultant, and youth spokesperson for Hyatt Hotel's Four Kids by Kids menu, and um, the co-founder of my own happy organization, which offers kids cooking classes, nutrition education, and fun physical activities. And I am so grateful to be able to share in this opportunity. And you know, all of my partnerships have really empowered me to make healthy choices and to encourage my peers to do the same. Now, to this year's junior chefs, um, I remember sitting in your exact position last year, filled with so much excitement and proud to be representing my home state of Arizona. So congratulations, and um, you will... <laughs> I know you will enjoy every moment of this experience, and I'm sure you have. Um, I also want to let you know that you're joining a very special community of kids and their families, um, the 2012 winners, and we are all connected through social networking and continue to encourage and support each other to get kids in our communities to eat healthy and move more. So welcome to the Healthy Lunchtime Challenge family, and I'm very excited to connect with each of you. Now, for the absolute main event for me today, it is my honor and dream come true to introduce the person who motivates and inspires me every day to be a health advocate for kids. She is a dynamic force behind the movement to get kids eating healthily and moving more, and um, as I mentioned before, responsible for making Miss Steele's dream a reality. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and dream come true again um, to introduce the First Lady of the United States, Mrs. Michelle Obama. guys. Thank you so much. You all rest yourselves. I know you've been waiting patiently. Oh, coming to the White House. It's a big hassle, isn't it? <laughs> you guys should really know that this is what it's like to be a part of an official state uh, dinner. I mean, we set this event up and we mirrored it exactly to what people experience when we host world leaders here. We were in this very room, that receiving line you had to sit through, stand through, we do that. Um, so it, it takes a little patience being at the White House, but you guys are, are phen phenomenal. We are so proud of you all. Uh, I wanna start by thanking Haley, gosh, girl, you, I mean, you're, you, you know, I, I have had the opportunity to spend a little bit of time with this young lady, and every time I am with her, she is that poised, that gracious, that bright, um, that uh, inspiring. Uh, and you did it again. You did it again. I am so proud of you um, for setting an example, and no, you couldn't do it without my, I know you want to go ahead and cry, because <laughs> I'd be crying right now. We're very proud of you, uh, and uh, you know, Haley's an example for all of you uh, what your little powerful voices can do uh, to change the world. So we are very proud of you, babe. Thanks for being here. 
Uh, I also want to thank Tanya as well uh, and everyone from Epicurious for uh, supporting this event and inspiring thousands of children to get creative and get cooking with their parents. We couldn't have done this event without you all. Um, uh, you all have been amazing partners. Uh, to me, this is an annual event, so I hope you get your work shoes on and we're going to get started for next year. I also have to thank one of my uh, dear friends and uh, uh, essential partners in this effort to get our kids uh, healthy and active, uh, Secretary Tom Vilsack uh, from the Department of uh, Agriculture. Uh, Tom, thank you. You've been an awesome partner. None of the changes that have been made uh, could have been done without your leadership, and it is something that I know you've been focused on your entire life. Uh, and I'm just grateful for the support and leadership that you've shown. Uh, I also want to thank all of the staff members from both the Departments of Agriculture and Education uh, for all the work that you all do. Uh, and we've got many representatives here. Can you guys stand so that uh, the kids at your tables know who you are? You've got th these, these, these men and women in suits and ties and jackets and stuff. They do the hard work every day. And a little later on, we're going to have a special guest, a wonderful young woman by the name of Rachel Crow, who's going to be performing here today. She got an awesome voice. She was involved in the X Factor. She's very cool. She's going to be here to entertain. Uh, but I also want to join in Tanya in thanking all the parents who are here with us today, the parents, the grandparents. Uh, and I know out there somewhere are teachers and educators who are also inspiring these young people. Uh, thank you for bringing your kids here today. Thank you for loving them, for supporting them, for encouraging them. I know we've got one grandma in the room. Yay to the grandmas in the room. We love the grandmas. You guys are amazing. Kids, let's give your family members a round of applause. And most of all, I want to thank and recognize the stars of today's show. The 54 winners of the Healthy Lunch Time Challenge are stars, yes! 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 Just take a look around, especially over in that corner over there. That is what we call the press. They're here for you, and there are a lot of you all here today. They don't show up like this for just anybody. I mean, to tell you, sometimes they're just a few of them over in a little corner. But today they're all out in full force because of you. You all, you come from every corner of our country, every state is represented here today. Go, every state. Uh, you all have created delicious, nutritious dishes inspired by the MyPlate nutritional guidelines. Uh, for healthy meals, and you all stood out among a pool of more than 1,300 submissions for this contest. So this was no easy task. You know, if you deal in statistics and odds, the odds were, you know, pretty tough getting one of these seats at this table. So you should be very proud of yourselves. Uh, and that's why this is truly one of my favorite events that we have here in the White House. I mean, we do a lot of cool stuff here. We've got singers and stars and world leaders, but this, probably throughout the entire White House, is one of our favorite events because we get to see how talented and creative and brilliant all of you young people can be. And then we get to show the world. And we don't just get to see it, we get to taste it. Just listen to some of the delicious, nutritious dishes that these kids dreamed up. Bananas, black bean burritos. Yeah, let's hear it. Yeah, yeah mom, moms, yeah. Okay, moms, you guys are gonna have to cheer it up for your kids because they're so nervous. I know you're, you're thinking to yourselves, my kid talks so much, but then they came here to the first lady, they didn't say a word. Confetti peanut ginger party pasta. Yeah. Pan-seared Mississippi catfish on a bed of river rice. It's my guy, catfish loving. Bring it on, Brussels sprout wrap. Bring it on. Slam dunk veggie burger. 
And then there are the fun mini pizzas with veggies and cauliflower crust. Listen to this, all you. We're going to be eating that here. We're going to, because all the dishes here are among those that were submitted. Um, but this recipe was submitted by Olivia Neely from Kansas. And let me just tell you something. Olivia's crust is gluten-free, and it is made of cauliflower, egg, low-fat cheese, and spices. And when Sam Cass, who is the Let's Move executive director and assistant White House chef, tasted it, is Sam here? There's Sam. There's Sam Cass. Sam didn't, he didn't believe that there wasn't any wheat in it. He was skeptical. <laughs> the health guy was skeptical. So skeptical that he walked down to the kitchen and asked the chef whether they'd slipped in some wheat to make sure that the crust tasted right. But they told him, nope, no wheat, just the ingredients Olivia put in the recipe. So we have seen that when kids, like all of you, get involved in creating your own healthy meals, the results can really be amazing and delicious and fun. Uh, you, you'll come up with ideas that none of us grown-ups ever thought of. You'll find new ways to get your families and friends to eat healthy and try new foods. Uh, I know that all of you have been motivated by different events in your life, different people in your life even, to cook healthy and to make changes. Uh, and some of you might even start your own online cooking show. Maybe. Maybe you'll start making appearances on local TV newscasts. I know some of you have already started doing that. Like Amber Kelly, our winner from Washington State. Uh, Amber, where are you? There, um, <laughs> you slipped right under my nose. You've been making the TV rounds, huh? Mm, pretty spectacular. But that's really what drives Let's Move. Um, the energy and imagination that's inside each and every one of you in this room. We know that if you're able to eat healthy foods, if you have more opportunities to get up and be active, because that's all part of it, right? We all know that. Got to get up and move. And if you're surrounded uh, by parents and teachers and community leaders who encourage you to live healthier lives, then there's no telling what you'll achieve. There's no telling. That's why we're working with businesses across the country, uh, like Epicurious, and to find new ways to promote healthy eating. Uh, it's why we're working with schools and health professionals to teach you about making good choices, not just at home, but in school as well, because we know sometimes you get to school, you lose your mind, right? <laughs> we're working on that. Uh, it's why we're working with restaurants and food companies and grocery stores so that you have healthy options that uh, give you the energy that you need to succeed in school and in life. Because in the end, Let's Move isn't just about what happens in the kitchen or at the dinner table. It's also about what happens after you fuel up with those right foods. Um, it's about making sure that your body can be strong and healthy uh, and your mind can be ready to learn and explore and dream today and for years to come. That's really what this is all about. This is about giving you the foundation to fly high and dream big. Right here in this room, we're already seeing what can happen if you're making healthy choices. Because as Tanya mentioned, this group is full of student leaders, not just student chefs. You guys are members of your student council. Uh, we have some Odyssey of the Mind finalists in this room. We've got spelling bee champions in this room. We have volunteers who serve throughout their community, communities. Uh, Lydia Finkbeiner from Indiana donated half the proceeds from her lemonade stand to a children's hospital. And Liam from Wisconsin, where's my guy Liam, where are you? There's Liam with his bow tie, started an organization called Harvest Ninjas to raise awareness about childhood hunger. And I know that there are so many more examples like this. I heard a few of them during the receiving line of all the wonderful things that you guys are doing in your lives. So the point is that, you know, none of us knows what's next for all of you. None of us knows how far you can go. Uh, all of that is really up to you. Uh, and it's about eating healthy, but it's also working hard in school, right? Because I, I, that's all my, my second question is how are your grades? Are you working hard? Uh, but we do know that if you keep dreaming up new ideas, if you keep eating healthy and getting active, then you're going to make your communities and your country 
stronger than ever before. You really are. You all are the future. Each of you has so much promise and so much potential. Uh, as eight-year-old Nicholas uh, Horns Bostel from Colorado said, this is a quote, I really want to be a cook and an engineer and be president too. <laughs> That's an outstanding list. That's what this state dinner is really about. Now, we really want you guys to realize your dreams. And as I always say when I have kids here, I want you to think if you can walk in this room and sit at these chairs and be in front of these cameras and meet the First Lady of the United States, then you can do anything in the world. You really can. You can do anything you want in the world. So your next task is to pass it on, okay? You gotta keep passing it on. There are a lot of other little kids who would love to be in this room, and they can't, but you can bring them here. You can share your thoughts and ideas. You can do as Haley has done. Become a leader. You guys are more than equipped to do it. You are already doing it. So keep working hard, all right? You guys promise me that? You pro do I hear some promises going on here? You guys are hungry, aren't you? <laughs> All right, I, I know when we have hungry children in the room. Well, you guys have a great time, eat well, and uh, I, I can't wait to see what you're gonna do with your lives in, in the years to come. I love you all, thanks for coming.